All right, if your window switch is working intermittently or just randomly stops working in a 2007 to 2013 body style, this is a Silverado, but I assume Sierra's too, it's probably not your window switch. As you can see by me pulling everything apart here, right down in here, I already kind of cheated and I taped everything back up, but that green wire right there, that was broken, which meant that my mirror still worked, but none of those other window switches or window lock or door locks or anything, anything worked and of course my window was down and got stuck down, but so I tore everything apart, testing all switches and wiring and everything like that. And coming into here and figuring all that this is your uh, window switch basically for everything that goes to the door goes through that so basically what you're going to want to do is cam that back rip it out i'm not going to do it again it's kind of tough you just got to get it pretty much pull it straight out as much as you can and then just kind of feed this back down through here and then you probably won't be able to tell but obviously there's some stuff under here yeah it's horrible well you can see the gray wire there goes through over into here so pull these off you'll find the probably a frayed wire this truck it was a green wire same thing happened to my dad's 2010 Denali and it happened to be, I don't know, another another wire, but kind of both symptoms where the door was wide open, window switches wouldn't work. Um, shut the door and the window switches would work again. Uh, so after tearing everything apart, figuring everything out, it was just a broken wire in here. So take out this, feed it down through here, so you can just kind of get a lot more slack from here and pull everything out. What I did is just resoldered the wire, tape everything back up. I'm gonna run a few more things to tape over all this just to, oops, sorry. Tape over all this just to provide some more cushion for how many millions of times we opened and shut the door and stuff like that. Um, hopefully this helps a few people that think their window switches are bad or something like that instead of bringing it somewhere or throwing parts. Pull the boot back, pull the wires out, resolder the connection, tape it up. Good to go. Everything works again. Find my keys and go ahead and prove it. All right, good to go. By the way, just a little edit to the video. These little things are a bitch to put back on into here. So, um, this thing's gonna be pushed in here like that. And yeah, no, I just probably screwed myself again. But pull it out so you see, you can see that tab right there. And then take a screwdriver and push on that tab. Um, like a flat blade screwdriver, push on the tab and just pull out towards the door. And you should be able to pop that out. Let me show you here. Give me just a moment. All right. Focus. Focus. Nope. Okay. Sweet. Great job, iPhone. All right, sorry about that. Now we're back. Pop out the clip. And then these are keyed into this rubber grommet. Um, let's see here. You can see if I pull that back, you can see that little right by my thumb there. They're keyed into there, so you gotta kind of jam them in. And there's an inner, there's this outer lip that goes around 
and seals up against the door. And then there's an actual like inner lip there that you can see that goes around this outer cusp. So it's kind of a pain in the ass, but you just gotta pop this out. It makes life a lot easier running around and then just push it back in.